I remember in the one operation we did in, in Angola, as we moved into a base, we, we bombarded them because you know, I was in artillery. We bombarded them and we moved into the base that night. There was real war going on those years. And as we moved in that night, we bedded down and the ground was too hard. So, the guy, so we normally would dig trenches as we set up our guns. Normally dig trenches and uh, it was so hard. I mean, this, this sand was hard as cement. And we just, just it was too hard. My troops came to me and said, Sarge, can we, can we not just, uh, I said, okay, no problem. Just scrape some sand, make it look like a trench. Right? That night, that night, as we bedded down, that night, they hit us back with AK-47 rounds, mortars, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm going to come to the story now. Uh, so needless to say, the next day, we found the energy to dig trenches. <laughs> right? And we learned the lesson. But here's what happened. Because if you don't pray them properly, you're going to hurt yourself. So as, as they started to mortar us and shoot at us, and we, as we started to fire back, we were outflanked from behind. But we didn't know it. But yeah, it was the grace of God. And I'll tell you, it is the grace of God. Because we wouldn't be here. Because I want to tell you right now that we were fearful because we had seen, we had seen armored vehicles being hit by RPG-7s, uh, 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 armor piercing. We had seen dead bodies. We had seen, we had seen everything. And, 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 and yeah, we were, out, we were outflanked. We didn't know. But yes, the, yes, what actually happened is as they were bombarding us, as they were mortaring us, they started to mortar their own guys. You know what that was? Bad planning. Right? The next day we found out what happened. When the sun rose. Why do I say that? Because sometimes we go to war, and I'm just relating a war story. And even though it, whatever your politics are, God bless you, I, that's not my issue. My issue is to actually help you and to teach you that if you go to war, whether it's in business, whether it's in, in, in uh, ministry, whatever you do, don't mortar your own guys. Amen. If you want to overwhelm the enemy, know exactly where you are, know exactly what you're doing. It's not a free for all. Come on, somebody say uh, amen. That's why we need wise people planning. Somebody say, I need wise planning. Come on. The Bible says any enterprise is built by wise planning. Amen. And you know, the, 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 the greatest thing about that time, I remember, and I, and I relate it because it impacts me today still. I remember riding, uh, riding in the front and with my driver, Mark, who was my driver, uh, uh, and I remember really scared. And you know, as a leader, you can't show your fear. But I just, I just say to God, Lord, if you get me out of this, I I promise you I will serve you. I promise you I will honor you. And, and you know, God takes you at your word. Because I've never forgotten a prayer. Ever. Ever. And every time I think, God, I can't do it. God says, you prayed the prayer. I'll make sure you can do it. 